I hope you are well by the time you see this video. I am V, and we're going to get into your message for what is coming next in love for you. And I'm using my 53 Shades of Love Oracles, Oracle, mixed in with my Red Hot Love Oracle. It's for sale on Etsy. If you're interested, I'd like to mix them together. All right, let's begin. So I feel that you're, what's coming next in love for you, my dears, lovely people here, I feel that you, in this energy, you either, um, you missed out on the opportunity to welcome or to connect with someone who was interested in you or who was approaching you in love. Maybe you decided to turn your cheek, turn the other way, and now it's gone. The show is over. You want a commitment. You want it to be immersed in love. You want the floodgates to open in love. So I feel what's coming next is maybe that was the past of you, you know, you missing an opportunity, missing, you know, missing the show, wanting to commit. And that person maybe had a change of heart. They were tired of waiting. Well, I feel that this is, I feel that the, 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 the wheel's going to turn over again. The ship is going to come right back over. I think this, this show's going to start again, the stage. The, the curtains are going to open up again. I feel that you're going to get another proposal here. And you're going to feel immersed in love. But I feel that you have to find closure. You have to, clo you have to close this chapter. You can't stay in, oh my gosh, what if? I wish I could have done this. I wish I could have done that. I should have, I should have, I should have. I could have, would have, would have. No, 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 no. No more of that. Because by doing, by being in that, that regretful energy, you are missing out on potential love, potential commitment, potential relationship, sharing reciprocal feelings so much that you guys are like drowning in love. Yeah, you guys are just, you're, you're, you're filling each other's cups and it's just the, 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 the floodgates are opening and, and the cups are filling over and the love is pouring out, pouring in, pouring out, reciprocal, like I said, so you don't want to be in this missed love um, energy where you're like, oh man, I miss my person. I miss... No, because I think that something new is coming better for you. Something new is coming. You just have to see the show. See it with your own eyes. Open up your eyes. Open up those curtains. Don't cry over spilt milk. That's what's happening here. Look, you're drowning in your tears. You're cr all cried out. Like, just think of the five of cups. A lot of water here. Her, she, look, she's looking down. She's like, oh, man, I, I missed this. You're crying too much over spilt milk. You still got two more cups here waiting for you. Turn upward. Put your face up. Look at the sky. See what's around you. Look up ahead. Stay focused. No five of cups energy, okay, friend? You, you don't want to miss another boat. Another boat of love. Another love boat. So let's see. What can you look forward to? Oh, my gosh. Seductive love. Somebody's going to seduce you in love, but are you going to be open to retrieve it? Are you going to be open to receive it? Are you going to be open to the possibilities of a new love coming in? I know it's not the same per person as who you lost or who you miss, but it could be somebody better. There's a lot of promise in what's coming, but you have to open your eyes, turn upward, put that sunflower, your sunflower, which is your face, upward, upward f towards the sun. What can you look forward to? Lovely, lovely pile. Thank you for choosing this. What can you look forward to when it comes to your new love life coming through? What can you look forward to? If you were to change the Five of Cups energy, turn that around and be more positive, optimistic, and say, you know what? Out with the old, oh, out with the old and with the new. This didn't work out. There's something new coming for me. I just know it. I have to wait for that ship to come through. I have to wait for this show to start, for the curtains to open. There's a promise. Look at that promise ring. Look, open yourself up. Grab it. What do you have to look forward to, lovely? Savage. So this is, I feel this This energy is like hot and spicy. Like it's so, it's going to, the love that you're going to encounter is going to be, it's going to, yeah, it's going to spike you. It's going to poke you it's, it's gonna make, wake you and make you feel alive look at this intimacy card right underneath it's gonna make you feel alive look giving tree love you're gonna be able to give that love and receive that love see what i'm saying but you have to stay out of this five of cups energy no more of saying man i missed my ship 
I missed the connection. I could have had a long, beautiful life with this person. Darn it, I wish I didn't cheat on him. I did. I wish, I wish I, I took him back even though he cheated on me or she cheated on me. I wish I didn't say this and this and this. I wish I didn't move away, whatever. None of that could have, would have, should have done this, done that, none of that. There's something new coming in for you. Maybe that, that tower moment needed to come to bring you closer to your true love. So the savage, again, poking you, making you feel alive. Hello, are you done? Are you done? Are you done? You done yet? You done yet? You done yet? Hello, I'm here. I'm here for you. Just think of somebody trying to, they're putting a pitchfork inside the steak. Are you done yet? Are you done yet? You done crying over spilt milk? You done saying, woo woo, it's me? You done playing the violin for yourself? Are you done? I'm trying to offer you love. But I'm poking you here. I'm giving you love. I got the bow and arrow. Just think of the cupid trying to poke you with the bow and arrow, but you're like, you're, you know, it hurts still. Of course, I know. But you can't stay in the energy forever. So it's saying, look out, open your eyes. Look, you got intimacy here. You got love and intimacy. Are you kidding me? And you got the giving tree. Somebody who wants to give you love. They want to give it to you. Open your arms and your heart for it or to it. That's what I have for you. You have a lovely day. If this resonates, freaking fantabulous. If it does not, check out my pick cards up on my channel. I have a plethora of them. I also have personal readings over on my Etsy and my oracles are for sale as we speak. You have a beautiful, beautiful rest of your spring. Hey friends, I just wanted to let you know that I do have a tip jar if you would like to support this channel and keep the energy going. The energy exchange goes a long way. It helps me stay motivated with pick cards and fun other video, other fun videos here on the channel. So there are different ways to do that. I have the join memberships right next to my subscribe button. If you click on that, you'll see all the different tiers that I offer. It's also reflective on Patreon. So whatever you decide to choose, it would mean so much to me. And your name gets put at the beginning of my videos to say thank you for your support. You help keep the fun train going. And I also would like to invite you to check out my Etsy shop. I have personal readings on there if you want to support me that way. Consider collecting one of your VLC decks by yours truly. All right, friends, thank you for choosing this pile. If you did, please put number two all across the comments. I would love to know that you chose this reading for you. And this is general, not a personal reading. I do them on Etsy, however, and this is not a prediction. Anything can be changed here. Tomorrow's not, uh, you know, not set in the pavement. So I thank you and welcome, 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 and please subscribe if you're new. So I'm using my 53 Shades of Love mixed in with my Red Hot Love. Oracles for sale on Etsy. I'm having a big sale this spring. So what I'm getting here for you, my friends, I'm getting can't buy me love, can't buy me love, no. So I feel what this this is telling me is that um, maybe there was some kind of uh, either. Um, okay, I have two scenarios. The first one is that maybe there's a codependency issue. Maybe you're depending on your person for money or they're depending on you for money, you know, and maybe that was the way that they um, received your loving or they gave you the loving. And I feel at that, what this is saying is that it's coming to an end. They, they no longer can uh, keep up with this energy of always, always needing to buy from you or buy for you or always needing you to support them. I think they're realizing this, this, you know, there's more to it than that. There's more to it than just giving each other material things. They want more. They don't want money. They don't want fancy homes. They don't want fancy shoes, fancy diamonds. They want more. I know that that's here, but that's, you know, this can be the older energy. Maybe they are about the fine life, but they're realizing that they want more. They want a new beginning with you. They want to walk a mile with you. They want to walk, walk a mile in your shoes. They want to know how it is to be you, to be the success, su successful person. But they also want to be with you. Just two people coming together, walking, walking, walking together, walking the same walk, sharing the same shoes, being one. New beginnings, yes. And then we have union. So coming together, feeling like they are part of your world, really feeling like you're equal, not just someone that they support or, or someone that you support, but you're equal, you're better half, you're, you're, you're peanut butter to your jelly. 
the diamond to your gold. They want to be you and him together. You and her together, her and her together, whatever. Him and him together. They want to be one, to become one. They want a new start. So I think that's what that's how you start it. Like, okay, yeah, you know, maybe, I don't know, maybe they just, they, that's how they, their love language is. They love to provide for you and give you money and fi find things. And then after a while, you're like, well, is that all you see me as someone who just takes your money and 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 is catered to you financially or ca catered by you financially? No, I'm more than that. I have a heart. I want to, I wanna, you know, build a, a relationship with you. You know, I'm getting like the pretty woman scenario here. It was good at first, but you're like, wait a minute, that's not who I am. I do love the fancy stuff, but th that's getting old. And the same thing for you, maybe, you know, it could be that maybe somebody's depending on your money or maybe that's your love language, you were, you were pro providing and supporting them. Because maybe you just loved being able to, you know, nourish somebody with, with beautiful gifts and 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 fancy you know dinners and stuff and maybe that's just your way of, of how you express stuff but then over time you're like okay but i want more is that all you see me just someone who's a provider i want to give you kisses and hugs only and i want that to be able to suffice not you having to need more you know when it comes to finances or your bills being paid i want to give you more so um now the shadow side of this is that maybe they, you know, you have some moochers. Maybe you have, you're, you're always finding people who always want to leech onto your bank account. And it's saying you need to start fresh. Let's get rid of that energy. No more having people mooch on you. You have more to give. You have more to see. You have more path to walk on. Look what you can find. Leave this behind and look what you can find if you were to apply yourself and, and know that you deserve better. No more letting people mooch off of you. You got love coming your way. You got love on the horizon. Look at that. On the horizon. Happiness. Yes. Beginnings. But you got to let this go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. No. Let me stop. No, no, no. I'm not going to sing that. Let it go. <laughs> so much love to you. If this resonates, then freaking fantabulous. If not, check out my other pick cards. And I would love to do a personal reading for you. Check out my Etsy shop. And everything that is used here is linked below. You have a beautiful rest of your spring. On to the next pile. All right, friends. I thank you for your time and for choosing this pile. Okay, let's get into your message. We have pure love. What's coming towards you? Pure love. Someone who loves you 100%. It's innocent love. There's no baggage. There's no, no drama. No expectations. No strings. It's just, let's just have fun. This is pure. No hidden agendas. Let's just let's go for it. And like running. They want to run with it. They want to run with the love. They want to run with you and and do fun things and take it to the next level um i also feel that this person another the other side of this also there's two scenarios the other side is that this person i feel they love you in, in such a, a beautiful way okay they, they have deep feelings for you but i think they get cold feet I don't think they, they want to take it past the let's have fun, let's hang out, let's, you know, let's meet up and then go away. Meet up the next night, go away, you know, like you guys just meeting casually. I don't think they want to take it past that just yet. Um, and it could be that maybe they're having cold feet or maybe they're, they came out of a relationship already. Maybe they, they, they get so scared that they, yeah, they run away. They're like, oh, oh you guys, we're getting too close. Nope, nope. But it's like they, they, they keep coming back to you. They're drawn to you. But then you guys break up apart. You break apart. Or you guys don't see eye to eye. Or you guys are just like toxic towards you. Look, we got incompatibility. So it's like, you see this pepper here? Pepper with the glitter. What the heck? That's just so out of the norm. And the two different opposites, polar opposites. But you know, opposites do attract. But anyway, what I'm saying is, you know, it's like, it's like a magnet. You guys come together. It's fun. It's pure. No strings attached. It's easy. No drama. But then you guys just like separate. 
you guys um you're not grounding this this love it's just fun when things get too heated okay time to i'll see you next month for another rendezvous and then you have spying so it's like they're intrigued they're interested they want to know more about you they want to they want more of you but for some reason you guys are not c compatible it could be that maybe your, your lives are totally different your schedules are totally different what you want what your expectations are are totally different and vice versa but they are very 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 they, they can't get enough of you they, they always are going to know or want to know what you're doing they want to know who you're with they want to know if you're still digging them they want to know if you guys still have something to look forward to uh, five weeks from now they, 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 they I don't think they can get enough they can't I don't think they can get enough of you uh, it's like okay I got what I wanted and now let's just I'll see you in a month or so and you guys just have that attraction of you guys pulling each other back and then it's fun it's pure it's easy there's no drama no strings attached like I said but then voila okay gotta go gotta go gotta go gotta go um i gotta go and go back to re reality the, the real life of you know maybe they have another family or another whatever partnership or they have a busy life maybe they have a busy schedule and so they come to you you're like the safe haven for that particular time that moment and then blah, 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 time to you know do our own things again and it could be you know you not setting that precedent of saying i don't want this anymore it could just take a phone call a conversation you know, instead of rolling in the hay, you can say, let's have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Let's talk about this. I don't want to do this anymore. I want, I want something more stable. I want you to really love me how I want you to love me. If we can't get there, okay, I understand. This is not what we signed up for, but can we? Can we try it? And this, yeah, again, the spying, it's, it's like they're always going to care about you, whether it's, you know, Maybe they're not in love with you, but maybe they would love you to a certain extent. And that's just how it is. That's how it's going to be. They're always going to care about you. They're always going to wonder if you're okay, if you're, you know, who you're with, like I said, uh, if you're thinking about them. And it could be that maybe right now that's just what you guys are comfortable with. Who knows what will happen? Who knows if you can take take this in, com the in out, and it can be compa compatibility. Who knows? If you guys get this out of your system, if you guys, um, you know, start um, learning to trust each other more, start co communicating more, spending more time to, to each other, dating more. Maybe you guys are always, you know, behind the window, behind the closed doors, behind the sheets, and you guys need to come out and do, like, a couple things. Maybe that can help you jumpstart this connection and become compatible. So I don't know why you guys are not on the same page but it could be that it's fun just the way it is now why complicate things why add more feelings more drama more uh, more strings when we don't need to have all that check out that movie with justin timberlake friends with benefits and this is this is what this is reminding me of and then he gets cold feet and he starts acting cold and shady with her and she's like well what the freak what, what just happens we were just having a good time I, I got to meet your family and now all of a sudden you're you're, you're being very very distant and yeah, and, and so it can be that you guys want, just want to, total different things. You guys got to come back together, have a conversation, not in the sheets because that will complicate things. Really have that heart-to-heart -heart conversation. Be one with your book. Just act like you're reading your book. You want to have one-on-one -on -one eye, eye contact. Much love to you. Thank you for joining me today. Hope you loved this reading. If not, that's quite all right. We do. I know that this is not going to resonate with everybody. But I do have all my pick cards up in my playlist. And this, these are my Red Hot Love and 53 Shades of Love Oracles for sale on Etsy. You have a beautiful rest of your spring. Bye-bye.